Listeners, we are back to talk about the big, exciting fight news that has just been announced. And it's all at heavyweight. Uh, two fights, two different disciplines, but it's all linked and related. Tom, give me your reaction to this. Tyson Fury versus Francis Ngannou boxing clash set for October 28, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Not sure if it's going to be an exhibition or a pro fight. Um, Tom, what do you feel about this? Well, I feel like we are missing the key detail. Is it an exhibition or a pro fight? Exhibition fight, it doesn't stir the loins. Mm. Uh, obviously, a pro fight, it's intriguing. It's mm. fun. I think we, we have a strong feeling as to how it might go. Mm. Um, however, huge credit to, to Francis and to Tyson for actually putting pen to paper and making it happen. Saudi Arabia has become the destination for this type of event. Mm. No comment on that really yeah as a, as a francis fan you know this is what he wanted so i'm, I'm on board yeah it, it's it continues this quite sad and depressing thing with boxing which is that like a lot of the big fights are being made in saudi arabia and so subsequently fighters are waiting for that and if they don't get that particularly at heavyweight they're not going to take the fights that are required particularly fury versus Usyk to unify all the belts Wanted the Saudi Arabia money, didn't get it for the time that they wanted. Wembley Stadium, yeah, we could make 25 million from that, but I want 60 million from Saudi Arabia instead. Fine, whatever. I don't, I do not judge a person for that negotiation. Uh, I understand. It's just us that struggle with it. And I just think it's interesting now that Francis, the gamble that he took on his career, has actually paid off. Like it has paid off. I expect this to be a pro fight, by the way. Yeah, it, it would be a bit of a mockery of, uh, well, of Francis and of the sport of boxing for me if, it, if it's not. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, it remains to be seen. Obviously, he wanted this big matchup, but I wouldn't go as far as to say that it's all paid off just yet. Uh, more details need to emerge. And, of course, you know, how Francis conducts himself in the fight and then what happens to him after and his kind of brand, what he represents. Mm. Uh, it's certainly exciting for him yeah are you not excited though no let's be real joe i'm not hmm. uh however if he goes and fights uh tyson fury builds a big brand acquits himself reasonably well i'm thinking conor mcgregor versus mayweather you know mm. uh, without all the trashy build-up that went with that um more just wisdom from francis then i start to think okay john jones is gonna fight steve Miocic. That is supposed to be the current heavyweight champ versus the greatest of all time. Mm. But what does that do to Joe? Well, if John can go out and put a good performance in, it builds up the prospect of Jones and Garnu. Mm. Is it? Is it possible? Is it is. It, of course, it's possible. It, I, I, of course, it's possible. <sighs> By the way, Joe, it doesn't. That, that light that fires me up. I, I, I'm, I'm hot for it, Joe. That is what I'm excited about. So, if these two fights bring that close to being possible, then because uh, here's the thing: is that like. You know, Dana looks at this and is like, oh, well, you know, Francis is gone. We can't do anything. He's in the PFL, which is on ESPN. It's not like he has to negotiate with another network. It's all on the same network. And it's, I just, it's maddening to me that they look at that and they're like, nah, don't want to. And instead of like Jones, who's got one fight left, if he doesn't take Nganu, he doesn't get Nganu, that's it. That's it. He's fighting Stipe, that's it. He ain't fighting fucking Sergei Pavlovich. Let's get that clear, all right? He ain't fighting Pavlovich. He ain't fighting Aspinall. Uh, and he ain't fighting Spivak, all right? Look, this is it for Jones. Are we really going to leave that on the table and say, no, thank you? Tragic. It's tragic. And it's only but it's only on the UFC side, by the way. Would, would you agree with me that mm. this Fury fight raises the prospect of that happening? Because mm. I'm, I'm saying this is really a chance to for Francis to actually underline his his brand, show what it's worth. What? Because it'll be to a much bigger audience than anyone any other fight. Of course, of course, and, and and actually, you know, when the UFC look at those hard numbers, the mm. prospect of making that fight, you know, you're telling me that Jones does what we expect him to do and, and beats Miocic, mm. right? And 
Francis goes on and puts a, a performance, like I say, Connor esque versus Mayweather. Yeah, you know, a, you know, a a well respected, could, yeah. a respectable performance against a guy who's yeah. obviously he doesn't passive. get he doesn't get absolutely folded in the first round, having not got any shots off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know that is just it's so tantalizing. The idea that the UFC could be seduced by that—that's, I mean, isn't that amazing, Joe? That prospect, Jones and Garner. Yeah, I mean, how much got, do you want that? I mean, I want that ten out of ten. That's the, the fight, that that's I want. Everything. I mean, hold on. Here we go. Hold on. This is this is it. You can have one of two. You can have Jones and Garner, or you can have Adesanya DDP. In Africa. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> well, both of these fights, Joe, should be made in Africa. This should be, you know, Ooh. live from the sand mine in Cameroon. <laughs> co-main, co-main. Yeah. DDP versus Adesanya. Yeah. What's David Cameron doing there in the front row? Anyway, that's not for us to discuss going to that sort of thing. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's the fight, isn't it? It's, it's, it's you know, heavyweight MMA is bad. Like, it's bad. It's it's not great. And then they have the one that is just like loin burningly great. Yeah. It's just it's so good just in like the just the names that you don't even have to sell anything extra about it. Yet they still refuse to do it. They had that stare down in the PFL. And did you watch that and you're like, yeah, that is that's the one right there. That's the one. And they both know it. They both know what they were doing of just like Listen, brother, we can make some serious cheddar with this one. Let's get at it. And they just still refuse to do it. it just As soon as the UFC break the seal, by the way, on co-promotion, that'll be the best thing that will have happened to them. Like, that will be the best thing that happened I mean, if, if Francis can be the one that brings that about, then, you know, what a, what a story. I mean, yeah. If, a story, I so. mean, if Francis fights Fr- uh, Tyson Fury, loses, and then brings about co-promotion in MMA, is he the GOAT? Is he the GOAT? <laughs> uh, certainly he's the fighter's GOAT. But there is one scenario we haven't discussed, Joe. Yeah. What about if Francis Ngannou folds Tyson Fury in, <laughs> in the first round? And he's heavyweight <laughs> champion of the world. Oh my God, that would be... That would be, well, I mean, topable. listen, he could... Leicester, li- Leicester win the Premier League, that would be a distant memory, Joe, after something like that. It might actually be... The greatest upset in the history of sport, wouldn't it? Like, would that be the greatest upset ever? I, I as I say, I, I can only think about something like Leicester winning the Premier League, or, and, or uh, me winning the Tour de France. Like, that would be. <laughs> nah, let's let's be serious. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, yeah. It, it's uh, I'm not you know I'm not seduced by that prospect uh, because I just I, I don't entertain it as a reality. But um, what if Steve? You know, wins? as we saw. Who do you think is more likely, Stepe or Francis? Stepe. Yeah. Stepe. Oh yeah. I I don't think that fight's a foregone conclusion. No. I don't. No. 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 I mean, I I I have a strong favourite, but it's you know, if Drickers Duplessis can mm. do that to my boy Robert Whitaker, I'm I'm keeping tight lipped a little bit about Stepe Miocic versus John Jones. Yeah. By the way, you can say someone's a strong favourite. That doesn't mean I'm going to pick them. Like, that is just the nature of this. Like, there is always going to be these intangibles where you're like, there's just something inside me that makes me think Aspen Lad's going to be the one to beat Amanda Nunes. And it's just like, I still think about that pick to this day. Why did I do that? <laughs> you know, why, why, did I, why did I make that pick? And yeah, I did. Look, it, it's, it's a fascinating prospect. The idea that we're actually going to see the guy who bet on himself to get the fight that he wanted, to make the money that he wanted to make the changes that he wanted. And also, like, let's say Francis does this fight. He has his two fights in the PFL. Let's say he's a free agent then. Why not do him versus Jones then? There doesn't have to be a belt on the line. That's, that's You don't need a belt for that fight, do you? The BMF no, title? No, no. Stick that on no, there? absolutely. Absolutely. Like, there's, absolutely. There's... I mean, we do have to entertain the possibility, though. What about if it is just some, you know, no knockdowns, exhibition... Isn't that nonsense? Then Isn't what that? what that tells me is that Tyson Fury didn't want to have Ngannou on his pro record. Like he was just like, I don't want that on my pro record. Like I don't, come I don't. Come on, Tyson Fury's not. Come on, come on. He's a come weird dude, doesn't... man. He's a weird guy. He's a mm. weird, irritating man who has done a lot to tarnish his reputation. 
Well, I mean, I I very much am excited for this fight. I will be watching it uh, live. Like, I have to watch that fight live. Um, yeah, I am hyped, to say the least. And actually, I think the week before is UFC Abu Dhabi as well. So I think there is a bit of weird direct competition going on there as well uh-huh. to try and get I the... think so, I think, yeah. Uh, hold on, I've just clocked what's happening. I've just clocked what's happening. Wait, what was the date it's for a it? week of, they're, a, they're a week apart, Joe. Miocic Jones and Nganu. Yeah, and, Fury. and on the 21st is UFC whatever it is in Abu Dhabi. Oh, they've sandwiched this absolutely perfectly, haven't they? What a bunch of cheeky gits. <laughs> Honestly, salty, salty. Yeah, but anyway, Joe, we'll, we'll be back to discuss it here live. Can't wait for that. October. Put it in your calendars, see listeners, you then. and we'll see you then. <laughs> Enjoy the fights. Bye bye. <laughs>